Hey everyone, this is Sandri Katz. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video we will check out all you need to know about the best point lattice, so where to farm it and I will also show you how you can craft all of these sweet mounts. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload. Alright, let's get to it. First and foremost, let's see what the Vespoid Lattice is. It's a new protoform synthesis reagent that is used to craft for wasp mounts and a battle pet. Um, these actually are looking pretty good. I like them a lot. They have such a unique model. Same goes for the pet. Okay, moving on to farming. Before you start farming the Lattice, you have to unlock the Cypher system by doing the first three chapters in Zerath Mortis. You want to prioritize the top row so you can open up ASAP the Dialic Understanding. This will give you a quest called Protoform Synthesis, which grants access to the pet Crafting Forge. By doing this, the Protoform Synthesis crafting components will start dropping for you, and so will this Lattice. When you do that, you can start farming the Lattice. It has a small chance to drop from most Vespoid mobs in Zerath Mortis, and a tiny bigger chance to drop from two rares, the Fisting and Zadonjin, if I'm correct. Don't know how to pronounce that. Um, there are a couple of places to farm the Vespoid mobs. I chose to farm where Fisting spawns, so right about here. And you basically kill all of the wasp looking mobs, the Vespoid ones. If you want to keep track of all of your kills, you can import this string, a nice person posted on Warhead comments, into the reality addon. According to this addon, the drop chance is 1 in 200 kills. From my experience, I saw 2 in 340 attempts, and they actually dropped in the first 5 minutes of farming. But I continue farming a little longer, up to 30 minutes, and I didn't see any more drops. Ok, let's see how much they sell. I am on a high populated server in EU, so if you are in a medium or a low population, you might see it going for a higher price. In my realm, they go 40k each, so that's a total of 80k in less than 30 minutes. You can either sell the Vespoid Lattice, or you can use it to craft one of these really cool wasp mounts. Ok, let's check out how we can craft these one by one. First, you have to unlock the mount crafting station if you have not yet. You have to get to the Sopranian understanding from the Cypher console to unlock the final song questline. And the starting quest is the Finding Tally in Pilgrim's Grace. Once you complete that, you need to wait for the daily reset and complete the following quest. Now you should be able to find schematics for the mounts, collect the required reagents and begin crafting your own mounts in the Synthesis Forge. Ok, first mount you can craft with the Vespoid Lattice is the Bronzewing Vespoid. To get the schematic for it, you need to simply enter this building right here and turn on your right in the main room. The item is at the top of the ramp inside the small pyramid statue. Once you take it to the Synthesis Forge, you can see it requires Genesis Mode, this drop from any mob in Zerath Mortis. You will also obviously need the Vespoid Lattice, and we covered that already, and another rare component, the Analoid Bronze Ingot. This one is a bit annoying to get to be honest, and there are two ways to obtain this, but they both require some luck. First method is to purchase the Olia Kaj from Olia Manu. If you don't see this NPC outside of Firim's cave, you need to learn the cipher console spell Altonian Understanding and complete the quest line that will appear. If you got a lot of ciphers of the first ones, and you are done with your cipher system, you can spend them on buying this Olia cash and the ingot might be inside. The second method is to unlock the Repulatory Anclove, one of the hidden Locus Shift treasure rooms. To see this, you must first 
research material understanding and analytic understanding and complete the chapter a means to an end. Then you have to find the glyph to unlock the repository unclo room. It's a bit tricky to find it, so I'm gonna try to explain it as best I can. Come to this location and you can see the graphite repose facility on your left. You want to go down here and on your left there's a small cave. Go inside that cave and as you enter, turn on your left. The glyph should be on the wall. Interact with it to unlock the hidden room. And now to use it, you have to gain at least 60 cosmic energy by killing mobs and gathering the small orbs in the area. Once you obtain enough cosmic energy, go to the graphite repos building and use the locus shift and take the interior locus. You will now see a new locus shift upon the platform at the northwestern side of the room, which you can use to travel to the repository alcove. Then you need to interact with the requisite originator and choose the fourth option. The analoid bronze ingot has a small chance, less than 10% to drop from there. And also this has a weekly reset cooldown, so you can only get one ingot maximum per week from this method. Unluckily it did not drop for me, so I'm just gonna keep trying and trying until I get it. The second mount you can craft is the Forge Spite Flyer and you can find its schematic in this location on the ground. Pretty simple. The rare component for this is the internal Rage Pearl, which has a small chance to drop from the Otoma in the zone and inside the raid. Again, you might find it inside the Olia Cache. After research and testing on my own, I found that the Lost Rubble Farm is the fastest way to obtain this item. You can find these mobs under where the rare Tuckwit spawns. They do have low HP, so you can kill them fairly easy and also appear to respawn pretty quickly. I got it in about 10 minutes of farming, so it shouldn't take you long. The third mount you can craft with the Vespoid Lattice is the Vespoid Flutterer. You can loot the schematic for this mount in this location. If you have flying unlocked, you can just simply fly there. If you don't, then you need to complete the chapter a means to an end. To unlock the Locus Shift locations, you need to collect 30 cosmic energy and go to the Gravity Repos. Use the Locus Shift to Tertius Locus and then jump below the platform to get your schematic. The rare component for this is the Wind's Infinite Call, which drops from the enhanced avian mobs. You can find a lot of them in the island where the raid is. On the east side of the map, the drop chance is as usual below 1%, but they are not very hard to kill. After almost 2 hours of farming, it did not drop for me yet, so don't give up, keep trying. I guess it will drop eventually. And last but not least, the last Vespoid mount is Buzz. You can find the schematic from a treasure called Palm Covered Relic. The drop chance is around 6%, so you might need to farm it a few days until you get it. It has multiple spawn locations. The rare reagent for this mount is the Protoform Sentience Crown, which drops from Otoma and Jiro mobs, with elite mobs having a higher chance to drop it. But since I struggled to kill them, I went to the Blooming Foundry. A lot of people recommended it in Wahed, as it has plentiful Otoma that can drop it. The respawn rate is very fast and they are quite easy to solo, which makes it a good place to farm the item. If you want to speed up the process, you can buff yourself from the enhancement consoles. If you have unlocked all of the second column in the cipher system, you can have up to 5 buffs for an hour. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and if you got any questions or anything you would like to add, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit the notification bell. If you have found this video helpful, drop a like. Good luck with whatever you are doing and I will see you in the next one. Bye!